yellow gamer nom is back and in this video we're going to help this noob unlock the cyborg race and awaken it to become pro but before we start you can show your support by using star code gamer nom when purchasing your robux five percent of the earnings will go to this channel and this will really help us improve our videos where the echoes slam oh there it is forward that's your slam that's the dump everyone knows that unlocking the cyborg race is hard so guys we will be using or needing the help of awakened z skill of the magma fruit to make things faster also i prepared a to-do list to serve as a guide in awakening the cyborg race so first we need to reach level 850 then face of darkness next is the brain core or core brain and level 1000 so let's start let's head to the fountain city to grind levels don't worry guys we are using my favorite fruit for grinding the magma fruit plus awakened z skills so we're just gonna use our z skill again take note just one skill wait i use the z skill here <laughs> again 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 one z skill to defeat this mobs there you go and to not get bored grinding you can use your other skills just like the f skill there you go Anyway guys, this is one of the fruits that I will suggest that you defeat the boss here, Cyborg, at 675. You can server hop and defeat this one. Why? Because you can burst damage and kill this boss easily because of its skills. Check that out guys. The damage output is really high comparing it to other fruits, okay? I was able to defeat this boss just by using 2Z and V skills, okay? So there you go. Guys, we're gonna server hop here until we reach level 793 and after that, our job here in the first sea is done. We're going to head to the middle town, talk to the experienced captain, and welcome to the second sea. Okay guys, so now, next stop, target, the Swan Pirates. So very easy again, log is in effect, no hockey. Again, just one Z skill is enough. By the way, check the V skill, Magma Meteors. Hmm. Really looks good. <laughs> Oh, by the way, do you know how to get the Fist of Darkness? So there are two ways. First stop is by defeating Sea Beasts. So at level 794, do you think we can defeat Sea Beasts now? Okay, so we're gonna try it. Again, I am using uh, Magma, Awaken, Z skill. So guys, our damage is not bad. Check that out. Damage output is good. But just one beam from the Sea Beast. Check the damage, guys. Also, take note that if you ever get hit, and you get pushed in the water, you will still get damage, okay? So for those saying that you don't need Fishman, unless you already have high HP, or at least max dodges on Observation Hockey, this will be really hard. So I suggest, keep grinding first. There you go, until you reach level 850. Again, with the Swan Pirates. There you go. Okay, so after reaching level 850, good job to us, there you go. Number one is out. We can start doing the Bartillo quest. This is a requirement to do race V2, okay? So we need to defeat 50 Swan Pirates first. So we're gonna skip this part. There we go, last three Swan Pirates and that's it. Next stop, go back to Bartillo. He will ask you to defeat the Spring Fruit user. Guys, you don't need to talk to him. I just showed it to you. You can go straight to this boss and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to defeat this one. V and Z skill is C and no, not X skill. There we go. More than half HP is damaged. So again, 2Z and V skills is enough again to defeat this boss. Guys, take note that we are still at level 850, but we are bursting bosses. Right? Okay, so again, after defeating this one, there you go. You can go back to Batilio in the cafe, and he will then ask you to head to the Coliseum. So under it, is a prison right so you just need to finish the what it calls the puzzle that's y x c this is s m and f n and b and that's it you will get the warrior's helmet and i think now we are ready to defeat the cvs because again we have more defense or hp now anyway guys uh i think i don't know if this works but make sure to position higher or jump higher every time you use your skills just in case you get hit by the laser, you can react fast and jump off the water, right? Because again, we don't have a fishman race. So you will still get damage even though you have magma fruit. Okay, so now as you can see, we are managing quite well. 
with the CBs. There you go. Z skill dash 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 dash. Also, we have I think three dodges on the observation hockey. So this CBs is almost dead. Go. Okay. Oops. One more Z skill, and I think we're done. There you go, guys. Okay. Again, that is one way to get the Fist of Darkness, but it's kind of hard, so I suggest continue grinding until you reach level 925. So guys, it depends to you if you want to defeat the Springfruit user or the Swan Pirates. Guys, the other way to get the Fist of Darkness is wait for 4 hours and look for a chest, okay? Chest, random chest, will give you the Fist of Darkness. So for me, I found the chest here in the raid area. There you go. So after that, just head to the Hot and Cold. Check this area out, and there's an entrance, another raid area, there you go. You just need to put the Fist of Darkness, and there you go. Now, we got the Fist of Darkness. Next up is the Core Brain. So how do you get the Core Brain? You need to keep on defeating Law until he drops it. But before that, we need to grind first some levels. So I head to the green zone and start defeating Fajita. So guys, again, our damage is really high. So we're just gonna keep on bursting these bosses. There you go. So we're gonna reach level 1028 here. After that, let's head to the snow mountains to continue grinding. Check this out. I think this one's a portal fruit user and he's having a hard time grinding. So I think I should really make the 1 to max video of the portal fruit. I promise that. Next week, I will be posting it. Anyway, back to grinding. Snow troopers. Again, very easy. Grinding here will end at level 1150 okay again level 1150 let's stop let's check our stats here it is dust fruits 2000 defense 1000 melee 450 next stop hot and cold target is the smoke admiral guys check this out 1v and z skill okay <laughs> and x skill and c skill check the hp guys he's almost dead 24,000 damage almost 25k one more skill and i think we're done there you go so again let's take advantage of this one and grind until 1250 guys after this we will now start defeating law or order to get the core brain so how do you do that so guys here are the stats first okay so guys to get the brain core you just need to go on top of this area where you are fighting smoke admiral right there's an opening i'm gonna show it to you here it is okay so there's an npc here where you can buy the chip okay so you need 1000 fragments to do it okay 1000 fragments to buy i need to buy then your friend will insert it in the raid area check this out my main account you want v4 guys check this out our level is 1 to 50 right so every time you defeat order you will level up three times but we're gonna fast forward this one until we get the core brain okay finally we got the core brain check the level guys it's 1268 which means i think we fought law or order four six times see that that's not easy to be honest we spent six thousand fragments so finally we finished the to-do list now we only need 2500 fragments to unlock the cyborg race so not like the other races you need to finish a quest right same with the goal race so there it is congratulations to us cyborg race moving on next goal is to defeat swan so head to the mansion talk to trevor guys the requirement here you need a fruit that is equal to 1 million or more so we have a quake fruit give it to him and he will give you access to the swan room here it is so again you need to defeat him Guys, it's again our damage is high, but take note the damage of this boss is also high, so better take care. Check that out. My HP is kind of running low, <laughs> or maybe I'm just noob. There you go, but we managed to defeat him. After this, V2 Cyborg is our target, so let's head to the green zone and locate the alchemist. Okay, this is an NPC and look for flowers. So, for the blue flower, you can only find this at night. Here it is, the red one in the morning, and the final flower, the yellow one, you need to defeat mobs, okay? So for me, it's the marine lieutenants while finishing quests. There you go. After that, go back to him, pay him 500,000 bellies, and he will upgrade 
your raise. So for the raise, your defense will increase for almost all damages except Blocks Fruit. And every damage you take will be converted to energy. Okay, next target guys is V3 Cyborg. So guys, just head to this NPC under Diamond area. There you go. For the quest, you need to have a fruit in your inventory. That's it. Okay, just talk to him and he will upgrade your race. Also, 2 million bellies is required. So from this one to this one, Robocop. <laughs> Aside from that, you will unlock the energy core. There you go, skill. Race skill, we will be using this later. So next up, back to grinding. First ship is our target. Guys, only ship decans, okay? We're not yet logging here, so you can use wall strat. There you go, just one Z skill, that's enough. Or you can use other skills to make things faster. Guys, I'm gonna make this quick, okay? So that we can go in the third C now, okay? So again, goal here is 1,394. There you go. After that, let's check our stats first. Here it is. Max Blast Fruits, Defense, 1,232 and melee 500. Next up, Ice Castle, target Arctic Warriors only, okay, only. We're gonna grind here until 1,400, hmm, I think it's 73, yes, it's 73. There you go, okay, after that, that is a requirement to go to the Forgotten Island because Loga is in effect with the Sea Soldiers. Okay, so again, everything will be easy. The only disadvantage is you won't be able to upgrade or increase your observation stacks, okay? So we will reach level 1,500 here. And after that, you can continue doing the Coliseum quest. So what's next? Okay, so you just need to go to the Coliseum, look for King Redhead. He's located here. There you go. And talk to him. And he will ask you to fight Indra. Let's check this out. Just use all your skills and it's almost done. Oh, by the way, you only need to damage Indra half of his HP here. Don't worry, there will be a part to later. Okay, after that, you can now head to the green zone. Talk to Mr. Captain, and that's it, guys. Welcome to the third C. Now we can unlock the race awakening. So again, I made a to-do list. Here you go, beat Indra, beat Doking, Mirage plus Full Moon plus Trial of Machine. So first up, beat Indra. Let's head to the sea castle. There you go, castle on the sea, sorry. Okay, after this, I used my main account to get the God Chalice. Also, he has three legendary hockeys. So there you go. Battle of Gods. Okay, guys. So here, it's okay that you don't start this uh, boss raid, but make sure to damage enough, like 10%, I think. But there's no problem as long as we're using the Magma Fruit. Again, the damage is high. There you go. Next is Beat Do King. So guys, I used my main account, again, to get the God Chalice and get 10 Conjured Cocos. To make things faster <laughs> there you go you will just exchange it to sweet crafter at the chocolate land and here it is another requirement is to defeat 500 mobs here so don't worry it's very easy even though our level is kind of low as long as we have the magma fruit check this out again just one z skill and you can use your v skill if you want there you go and that's it you can burst the mobs here easily so guys, after 500 mobs, fast forward, <laughs> you just need to talk to Drip Mama. Here it is. But guys, take note, the one holding the candy chalice should start again the raid, okay? So for in my case, I'm gonna use my main account. There you go. And you will summon a god. So guys, Gamer Nom, is he easy to defeat? No, to be honest. So I died lots of times. But you just need to go back, okay? It's okay to die. There you go, and continue damaging, what am I doing, anyway, there you go, fast forward, and that's it. Our main goal here is to get the mirror fractal, so as you can see, aside from that, we got the spiky trident and pale scarf, <laughs> which is really good. So guys, let's check our checklist again, or to-do list. Number three is Mirage plus Full Moon. So guys, this is really hard, but check this out, you're able to summon sea beasts with the Mirage Island. So we were able to summon it, but not in a full moon. So I waited for it. Check this out, guys. Make sure to look for the peak, okay? Peak. Here it is. And wait for the full moon. And the moment that it signals you that it's full moon, there you go, the light of a full moon peaks. Use your skill. 
Even though it's not yet full, right? As you can see. There you go. Wait for 10 to 11 seconds and it will resonate. Okay? Also, don't forget guys, fast mode. I'm gonna show you the difference. This is without fast mode and this is with fast mode. Check that out guys. It's easier to locate the gear. And after finally acquiring the gear, you can now head to the great tree. Head on the very top, there is an entrance to the temple of time. Now guys, you have now the power or the strength to pull the lever. There you go. And wait for the full moon. Okay, this will only work in a full moon. So look for other two players who are able to pull the lever with different races. Again, different races. Head to the front of your very own trial door. And again, at full moon, use your skills at the same time. So again, for the trial of machine, missiles will fall and you just need to dodge. So guys, is this the easiest trial? Comment it in the comment section. If you're gonna ask me, every trial is easy as long as you use the perfect or the correct blood fruit. Aside from me, yeah, me trial is kinda hard, especially the final trials for maximum awakening. Okay, so after that, just ask your friends to reset <laughs> because you need to defeat them, right? So these are my other accounts. So again, shout out to my brothers for helping me awaken this account. There you go. So we just need to follow this light and it will lead you to the ancient clock. Okay, so now guys, check this out. You can now awaken your race V4 after this. You can now transform. Just click this one, there you go. So there are gears, the blue and the red gear. I already made a video of that. If you want, you can check it out. So from this, after awakening into this one, now you look like a full-fledged cyborg or android. <laughs> now you just need to fill up the red bar under your energy and that's it. Push Y key and you will transform. Okay guys, so that's it for this long video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Guys, or gamer no makes it hard yes actually not just takes time but as long as it's for you guys everything is possible okay so again i hope that you enjoyed this one again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer nom gamer nom out